Today I'm here with the one and only Christina Grimm, better known as Kiki, and we're going to play a bit of scotch doubles together. My name is Kiki and uh, I play billiard already half of my life, traveled around the world, but today I'm very happy to be here and to play with you. Sounds great. By the way, if you're not following her on Instagram, make sure to check uh, her Instagram account in the video description. And now <laughs> let's get to the table. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're starting with a nine ball break and run by playing scotch doubles. And in this break and run, you will see two shots that you must know when you're playing pool. And I'm sure a lot of beginners would have played those two shots differently compared to us. But first of all, after this amazing break, by the way, let's have a look at the whole break and run. Here, what I'm trying to do is to actually go into the long rail and then go nicely into the line of the two ball. The advantage here is that I can go into the line and my speed control doesn't have to be that um, precise compared to just stunning the cue ball over. You saw me using a touch of inside spin here to not have too much angle on the two ball. This is pretty much ideal. All uh, Kiki has to do now is um, to roll the two ball in. Cue ball comes nicely to the center of the table where we can play the free ball into the corner pocket. Don't try to actually force the cue ball into a position where you could play the free ball to its closest pocket, which is the side pocket. You shouldn't always try to play um, shots or balls into its closest pocket. You have to consider how do you get there and if something is easier and if you have more margin for error regarding the angle, for example. Imagine trying to play it into the side pocket. You have the angle where the cue ball goes towards the nine ball and you have a bit of a harder time. This turned out perfectly. And now comes this shot that I was talking about or the first shot I was talking about. What you could try now is use a ton of inside spin, just go two rails to the center of the table or play low left and uh, do pretty much the same. But what Kiki is doing is she's actually going all around the table. The advantage here is that the position um, zone is a lot bigger. You can let your stroke out, the whole shot gets a lot easier. Of course, we didn't end up perfectly on that six ball. But it's still a very, very makeable shot and uh, all I have to do is just stun over again into the long rail, not trying to hold the ball, come back out to the center of the table. Here again, second example for this type of shot. What you could try now is just go two rails, use a low a touch of right spin, but very often the cue ball just travels too much because you have to put backspin on the cue ball. You could also just use some right spin here. This also works, that way speed control is a bit uh, easier to control. But have a look what Kiki is doing here. Again, she's going all around the table. Again, you can let your stroke out, your speed control doesn't have to be that precise and it just looks great and is a very, very common shot that you should definitely know. Okay, now let's have a look at our 14 ball drill next. I would highly recommend to pause the video once we're done setting up the drill because that way you can think yourself through the drill and compare it to what we are doing afterwards. All you have to do in this drill is run the balls in order from 1 to 14, you're starting with ball in hand and you aren't allowed to collide into any other ball. This is a very nice drill because very often you have to go exactly through the center of the table for the next position shot and there are a lot of very very common shots that will help you to run on an 8 ball, 9 ball and 10 ball. Alright, let's talk about what we're actually doing on the table. Here I'm trying to, or I was trying to actually get a bit closer to the center of the table, um, get a bit closer to the free ball, because now Christina has to bridge over or the green 14 ball is a bit interfering. The good news is she can still use some left spin to go a really nice two rail path around the eight ball and uh, the six ball. And that way we're going perfectly towards the four ball. So here I'm asking her where exactly she wants to have the cue ball because you wanna have um, everything as natural as possible that you don't have to manipulate. So I just have to draw a bit back and I just play a stop shot. We're having a really, really good laugh about this and uh, this is a very common thing, by the way, in scotch doubles, someone points on a table, the cue ball should end here and uh, you end uh, three miles away from that point. But nevertheless, the good news was the angle was still there. She had to force it a bit, but um, it turned out perfectly. As you can see, again, we're at the center of the table. Now I'm playing a low right, actually a very, very common shot. And you can see the path that I'm using again, I'm going close through the center of the table, not perfectly the center, but close to the center. And that way um, you had a really, really nice path and a really nice gap on the table. Okay, here um, have a good look what she's doing. She's playing low right again and uh, tries to go three rails again through the center of the table. Have a look at that shot. 
very very well executed she um, avoided that um, 10 ball because she added enough quality into her stroke uh, enough low enough right spin and now um, the hard part of the drill is over again we'll have a look I'm playing low right I just going again into the line of that nine ball this is perfect nothing basically can happen speed control is very easy and you're going perfectly to the line with a right angle so now once you're at that stage of the drill it's pretty no I wouldn't say it's easy but it's very very doable compared to the first part of the drill so now stay composed don't make a silly mistake and uh, just finish the job imagine it's a hill hill final and you have the layout so um, yeah just do the job Okay, here um, I think I just going to roll the ball in, use a touch of outside spin. Bit too hard actually, a bit softer would have been nice. So now Christina has to play a recovery shot. So um, she's not trying of course to hold it ball. It would maybe be possible, but there is no reason to trying to hold it ball because that way uh, you might miss the shot. The cue ball rolls a bit off, the object ball rolls a bit off. And uh, if you're trying to go two rails like she did here, then you can just let your stroke out. And this is way more natural. All right. Three balls left, so here um, I don't want to leave her straight on at 13 balls, so I'm trying to draw a bit back that she has an angle to maybe go two rails, short lay, a short rail, long rail, or maybe just uh, one rail going to the short rail and then uh, back to the 14 ball. And actually, uh, we got pretty close to running the whole drill before I just missed the last ball. I'm going to show it to you afterwards because uh, this was really frustrating. So I was hoping to get the easiest as possible shot on that 14 ball here. So have a look. He will just stops in time and now I have a makeable shot on the 14 ball. I would have loved to be straight. You can see I'm a bit smiling. I actually was a bit afraid to miss it again. But just stay down, concentrate on your fundamentals, straight stroke. And here you have it, a really nice drill with Christina. If you want to see more with her, um, we actually recorded some more things, uh, then leave a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment down below. And this was our previous attempt. As you see, I left her a bit too straight on a 13 ball. She has to draw back and the cue ball just doesn't stop and is a bit too close to the rail. But to be fair, this is a very, very makeable shot. This is basically a must make shot, but it happens. Sometimes you're missing the shots. You can see, trying to give everything that I had because I think we were doing this drill for around 30 minutes already playing the shot and just playing it straight into the rail and uh, this was really frustrating because the attempt we were playing wasn't a uh, textbook but we played some great shots and I missed that shot so it happens and uh, yeah as I mentioned if you were enjoying this video and if you want to see more with Christina then leave a comment down below leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please subscribe ring the bell notification to get notified once I'm uploading new content a huge thank you goes out to my patrons to my sponsors to every single one of you who is supporting me that's it for today guys so thanks for watching and as always see you at the next lesson take care